So we are on our way to California. An actor and friend of mine named Sidarius Blaine has a travel company called Top Shelf Getaways, and he hired me to perform at their Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie premiere weekend event. So that's the bus we're taking. Fly away to Van Noise. I don't know if it's stopping here though. How you doing? Going to Van Noise? Oh, go you gotta go downstairs? We pick up downstairs and we drop off up here. Oh, alright. We'll get there eventually. I think that's our bus. Oh yeah, it's right here. Is this going to Van Noise? Still, still glad to see somebody's got cameras today instead of the phone cameras. Oh yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So we're taking the flyaway to Van Nuys. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. And from there, Sidarius is going to pick us up. Got about an hour ride. An hour? Yep. On this bus? 50 minutes. We're here. We got to go north up here. So we gotta go through Marina Del Rey, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. So I had let people know on my Instagram story that I was gonna be in LA, see who's here at the same time. Maybe meet up, street magic, you know, so and so. And a friend, Ryan, his name's Ryan Henry, he got me on, uh, he's a star of the show. I think it just ended actually, it was called Black Game Crew Chicago, he's a tattoo artist responded to my story advertising that I was going to be in LA he said to the top he said kill everything you do out there you deserve it all Vegas residency for 100 M's coming soon let me hold five dollars when you do so I'm going to tell him I got him with the five for sure Mr. Blaine. What's up, brother? How are you? Good. Yeah, you get to wear all black now. See, I made an event just for you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, perfect. I can do that. No problem. Okay, I wanted to kind of tighten up how we can present your performance like on the stage. Because you said most of your stuff is all long form. It's been done over the course of 20 minutes and stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah, so generally what I do is like close up for groups of people. Exactly what I was doing on the boat. Right. I'm in the video, you saw. Right. But how can I, how, can we do any of these that will, that will translate to the actual stage? Possibly. Can, I can try and figure something can, out. You can do a close up with, so like Loretta Define, there's, there's actually a bunch of celebs actually coming to this one. I, I got a whole bunch of people, I have a whole list. Um, okay. But, is there a way that I can take out, you know, 20 minutes of stage time for you to be able to do it, you know? Yeah, I, I can try and figure something out. I, I do. I generally don't do stage performances, but for the purpose saying, of yours, I can. It's not gonna I be can. like, hey, everyone, here's here's my card, blah blah. blah. Yeah. No, you just pick some money from the crowd and you do the trick one on one for everybody to see at once. Right. It'll just have to be something big enough to. It to be seen, like it couldn't, it can't be like close up card stuff where no one's gonna, you know. But I can, I can figure something out. So I put something in here for you that I'm hoping will apply to you. Can you hold on to these kind of tight? Okay. You're gonna look at me, you're gonna focus on the very first playing card that pops in your head right now. Don't say it out loud. Do you have a card in mind? I do. You agree I should not know? I agree you should not know. Do you think I could have influenced you to go for this card? No. For the first time, say it out loud. Red Jack. Jack Red. Heart, Jack, Jack of Hearts. You've been holding the deck, correct? Yes. Let me show you. Can you see how if I go through these, most of these are face down, yeah. yes? But there is one in here that I turned the opposite way before I gave this to you. Well, no, I was so sure you would go for the Jack. I didn't put any other cards in here. This whole deck is blank except for the Jack that you just saw it happen in there. 
So they just sort of took them before you leave. I'm speechless. <laughs> Well, here we are. I um, had an idea about doing a big sort of movie premiere for the celebration of uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I had this idea about six months ago. I threw it out kind of as a joke. A bunch of people on my Instagram started writing me about it. They're like, if you ever did that, I would literally come. And uh, so we made it into a real thing. And I partnered up with the W Hotel, and they are making this shit fly. You know I had to get my boy GS Magic out of here. Come on, man, George. Thank you for coming out again, man. Um, let's have some fucking fun. Blessings falling down on me. Mr. Scott. It is bringing me joy. Well, if you're okay with it, I just want to introduce myself before oh, okay. that potentially happens, but I'm George. Okay, yeah, George. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Go ahead, George. Oh, yeah. It's because those doors open. <laughs> so let me ask you, what card is this? Wait, what card is that? Um, that's a one? Ace of clubs. Right. Can you hold this hand up? So watch. The club okay. goes here. Without looking, what card is in your hand? Ace of clubs. Turn it over. All right, club, right? Do you know what goes with club? The other black one, spade. So okay. I'm just switching them back and forth, and you just have to keep track of which one is which. But it'll be easy, we're only using two cards. Okay. Can you turn over the club? Great, so here's the move. I switch club for spade. So now I've got the club, correct? Yeah. Here's the move. Do not look, but now I have the spade. Now I have the club. Spade, club. But it's impossible to prove that they're actually switching, right? <laughs> Can you hold out your hand, Elijah? So here's the move. I put club here. Without looking, which one is which? I have spade. Club, spade, or spade, club. So here, if I switch them, like so, without looking, which one is which, would you say, Aspen? I would say cl or, yeah, club, spade. So maybe if it was spade the opposite. Club. So maybe if it was the opposite of what you thought, that'd be kind of impressive, but I don't yeah. think that would be good enough. So here's what we do. If okay. someone were to name, ask me to name a number up to 10, yeah. I might say three. Can you name a number up to 10? Eight. Eight. Can you name a number up to 10? Seven. Uh, seven? So we've got eight and seven. Yes. I asked them to name a number up to 10. Okay. You said eight, Elijah seven. said seven. Got it. Which one do you want to take out, the eight or the seven? Taking out the eight. Taking out the eight? Yeah. So that leaves the seven. Did you see what I just did? Yeah. Can you turn your cards over at the same time? are all different, like they're not all the same card or anything like that, yeah? Look okay? Are you right-handed or left-handed? So with your right hand, can you reach in and grab one that you like? It's up to you. Good. And it doesn't matter if I see it, but make sure everyone can see. So it doesn't matter if I see it, all that matters is that you put your name. Are you okay with the ace? So I'll give you a surface to write on. Can you take the Sharpie? Can you put your name or your initials, wherever you want? Perfect. Put your name or your initials, wherever you want. Perfect. Can you cap the Sharpie? 
say this? These are still your initials. I can't duplicate exactly how you put this on here, can I? So here you see the ace. You see how it really looks as though? It looks as though it goes in about, maybe halfway, give or take, about. But in reality, it's never moved. I'll show you. you. See the ace. I believe you see it go inside, yes? It's never moved. It's always going to be here, right? So I'll do it over again because it happens fast. You see the nine. I believe you see it go inside, yes? It's never moved. It's always going to be here, right? So I'll do it over again because it happens fast. I do it this way. I push it out slightly, just a little bit. So you see the nine sticking out. You see it going here, I leave it sticking out, and I push it all the way in. So now you know, Erica, it's not here. Is that true? Well, no, it's always gonna be here, right? But I exaggerate this. I bend it slightly, just a little bit. So now you'll really be able to see it because of the bend. Can you make up the bend? These will go on top. You hit it just right. You see how the bends are straight through. You take it, make sure that's the one. You know what, Cache? I'll do this one more time. So here, I do it this way. You see the ace with your name. I turn over your ace. This will go inside. Can one of you push it all the way in? You see? Look at me. You see? Look at me. Magic right here. You gotta, you gotta do this thing that damn fly. Yeah. You might make you disappear. You want to sit and be comfortable? Yeah, you can sit here. 